You're listening to Jeremy Vaney's Peritopia Vlog, right here on YouTube. Jeremy Vaney, and this is my vlog. I've been whining now for three weeks straight that I don't actually have anything to talk about on this show, and as a result, you've been suffering, because I've been subjecting you to what I call comedy. You might call it comedy. <laughs> um, and I know a lot of people don't like that. <laughs> Shut up. Um... You know, you take this UFO stuff seriously, and this paranormal stuff seriously. So. <laughs> I know that there's... I'm thinking that there's no place here for, for comedy. Shut up! But, like I said, I, I, it's not like I have a choice, because uh, I don't have anything else to talk about, or at least I didn't, ah, until right now. Hot off the press. Listener feedback. Uh, let's see. John writes... If you wanted a question to answer for your video blog, here's one. I guess I'm technically premium content. <laughs> Since the ETH hypothesis is obviously very flawed, just wondering if there's a legitimate outside-of-time hypothesis circulating in UFO circles. The reason I bring this up is because a month or so ago, I had a hypnagogic encounter where I summoned a version of myself, which I'd actually been meditating on for a music video, Long story, which I could explain further. <laughs> this is the first time a hypnagogic encounter that has been presented to me as a separate image from myself or moreover in humanoid form, i.e. like literally a version of me standing in my room talking to me. This is the first time a hypnagogic encounter that has been presented to me as a separate image from myself or moreover in a humanoid form. I think he... I think he meant this is the first time that Hypnagog encounter uh, has been presented to me as a separate image from myself or moreover in a humanoid form, i.e. like literally a version of me standing in my room talking to me. It showed up for the next few nights with this message. Well, I mean, let me repeat that in case I completely... Well, not I, but in case... <laughs> This comes from John. John writes, Since the ETH hypothesis is obviously very flawed, just wondering if there's a legitimate outside-of-time hypothesis circulating in UFO circles. The reason I bring this up is because a month or so ago I had a hypnagogic encounter where I summoned a version of myself, which I had actually been meditating on for a music video I'm going to make in the future. Long story, which I could explain further. This is the first time a hypnagogic encounter that has been pre presented to me as a separate image for myself or moreover in humanoid form, i.e., like literally a version of me standing in my room talking to me. It showed up for the next few nights with this message, quote, We are the beings from the Sirius star system that Robert Anton Wilson was communicating with. You'd have to have read Cosmic Trigger for this to make sense. We are the gray aliens that Jeremy encounters. We are the death figure that Jeff is dealing with. It referenced you guys specifically. We exist outside of time, and that's why it's hard for us to communicate with you. And then the same message for another several nights. Quote, We exist outside of time, accompanied by actually showing me the structure of my soul and how they, which are a higher version of myself, exist outside of the structure I'm planted in, which makes communication difficult. Would also explain the importance of altering headspace and practicing sigil magic as you're subtly taking yourself outside of normal time perception, which is where your higher self exists. First time any of my visions, dreams, high strangeness, etc., has made any reference that it was associated with UFO phenomenon, dot dot dot, ever. Also, directly mirrors Grant Morrison's abduction encounter, where he was taken outside the time stream and shown something very similar to what I was being told. 
A common and repeatable side effect to experimenting with Crowley and sex magic? Question mark? Well, anyway, I'll actually post that on the premium message board here if you don't have time to answer. Just so weird, my first quote-unquote alien encounter, I suppose. John. Well, John. Well, John, thanks for writing. If anyone else would like to write to us, uh, do so. This concludes Jeremy Vaney's Peritopia Hog, right here on YouTube.